Good morning, Dr. Jane here again. Today, as Animal Medical Center continues in this series of client information videos, I'll be presenting on the topic common skin issues of our pets. You can leave your questions or queries below in the comments via our email address or WhatsApp. Thank you for listening in and sharing the videos. What is skin? The skin, sometimes known as the integumentary system, is a structure composed of many different tissues. It performs many functions that are important in maintaining homeostasis in our pets. Probably one of the most important functions is that the control of the body temperature. The skin also protects the body from physical damage and bacterial invasion. The skin comes in all kinds of textures and forms. There is the dry, warty skin of toads and crocodiles, the wet, slimy skin of fish and frogs, the hard shell of tortoises, and the soft, super skin of snakes and humans. Mammalian skin is covered with hair, that of birds with feathers, and fish and reptiles have scales. It's important to note that the skin is one of the largest organs of the body, making up to 6 to 8% of the total body weight. The sound of your pet constantly scratching or licking can be very irritating, I should know. But don't blame them for these bad habits. A skin condition probably is the culprit. Possibly cause can range from parasites to allergies to underlying illnesses. Today, I'll briefly look at some of the more common conditions that can affect our pets. Oh. Allergic dermatitis. <clears throat> Dogs and cats can have allergic reactions to grooming products, food, and environmental irritants, such as pollen or insect bites. Allergic dermatitis is an inflammatory chronic disease associated with allergies. In fact, this is one of the most common allergic skin disease in dogs. These reactions can be brought on by normally harmless substances like grass, mold, dust mites, and other environmental allergens. A pet with allergies may scratch relentlessly, and a peek at the skin often reveals an ugly rash. A visit to your veterinarian can help with a diagnosis. A variety of medications can also help with itchy rashes. Generally, the most effective treatment is to identify and avoid exposure to the allergens. Our next up is yeast infections. If your dog can't seem to stop scratching and air or licking and chewing their toes, we might be dealing with a yeast infection. Symptoms can include irritated, itchy, or discolored skin. The infection usually strikes the paws or ears where yeast have a cozy place to grow. Yeast infections are relatively easy to diagnose with a skin scraping and or a wood's lamp. A fungal culture can be done for the most persistent infections. Most of these infections respond well to a topical cream. In some cases, oral medications or medicated baths might be prescribed. Mage. Um, this is one of the most common issues that, that we see animals will come in. And mange is a skin disorder caused by tiny parasites called mites. Sarcoptic mange, also known as canine scabies, spreads easily among dogs and can be transmitted to people. The symptoms are intense itching, red skin, sores, and hair loss. A dog's ears, face, and legs are most commonly affected. Demodetic mange can cause ball spots, scabbing, and sores, but it is not contagious between animals or people. Treatment depends on the type of mange. Chylitosis, a dermatosis caused by the parasitic mite Chylitalia, is seen in cats, dogs, and rabbits. It is highly contagious disease and may be seen more often in young animals, as well as in cats living in shelter or catteries. All these mites can be seen under a microscope for identification and diagnosis. 
fleas. Fleas are the bane of any pet owner. You may not see the tiny insects themselves, but flea droppings or eggs are usually visible in a dog's or cat's coat. Other symptoms include excessive licking or scratching, scabs and hot spots. Severe flea infestation can cause blood loss and anemia and may even expose your dog to other parasites such as tapeworms. Treatment may include a topical and or oral flea killer and a thorough cleaning of the pet's home and yard. Ticks. Ticks, like fleas, are external parasites that feed on the blood of their hosts. You can spot a tick feeding on your dog with the naked eye. In addition to causing blood loss and anemia, Ticks can transmit diseases such as ehrlichiosis, anaplasmosis, babiosis, and other potential serious infections. Dogs are much more affected by ticks than cats because cats are much less likely to get into tick territory. They seldom get there by their own and cats are rarely taken for walks. Also, infested cats are much more likely to get rid of the ticks by themselves than dogs because of their intensive self-grooming behavior. Before feeding, ticks pump saliva into the host. This contains anticoagulants and immune system suppressing substances, making it easier for the ticks to feed. Treatment may include a topical and or oral tick killer or preventative and a thorough cleaning of your pet's home and yard. If you want to know more about ticks and tick-borne diseases, the previous presentation by Dr. Toon covers this topic more in depth. To help you combat ticks and fleas, um, Animal Medical Center will be offering a 23% discount on Heart Guard and Next Guard for the first 23 days of February to celebrate our 23 years of service to Belize. This will continue while supplies last. Take advantage of it now. Color or texture changes. Changes in a dog's skin, color, or coat texture can be a warning sign of several common metabolic or hormonal problems. The skin and coat of a dog may sometimes change color or become lighter or darker. This may be a normal process or may be due to a serious disease. If the skin or coat has a color other than white, it is said to be pigmented. If the skin is darker color than normal, it is said to be hyperpigmented. Changes in color can also result from an infection or other skin disorder. Usually a simple blood test can identify the underlying cause. Be sure to consult with your veterinarian about any significant changes to your dog's coat. Lumps and bumps. Not all skin tumors are cancerous, and some like skin tags are usually benign sebaceous cysts or lipomas. However, if you discover an unusual lump or area of discoloration, play it safe and contact your vet. Changes in the shape, size, color, or ulceration of any growth or lump are also cause for concern. And that's it for today for this presentation. Thank you very much uh, for listening in and sharing these videos. If you have any questions or queries as mentioned before, please feel free to contact us. We'll do our best to answer them. Next week, I'll be answering your questions live. And the following week, we'll have Dr. Tun presenting on neutering, spays, and castrations. And please don't forget that for the first 23 days of February, Animal Medical Center will be offering a 23% discount on Heart Guard and Next Guard to celebrate 23 years of service. You can take advantage of this. Thank you again.